Hey everybody, I'm Dennis. On today's edition of Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy, we're gonna cook some chicken drumsticks the special way. So let's get to it. All right, so what we're gonna do, the first thing we have to do, get our drumsticks out of the package. We're going to do them four at a time. We've got eight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the drumsticks and I'm going to cut all the way to the bone several times, all the way around. The reason we're doing this is because very shortly, we're gonna put them in a gallon freezer bag and we're gonna add our lemon pepper, our garlic salt, our black pepper, our cayenne pepper, and our Himalayan salt into the bag and we're gonna shake it up. We're gonna get seasoning down into the inside of these drumsticks. And that is gonna be really good. Okay, so we do these four first. We get our Ziploc bag, gallon freezer bag, and we put the four drumsticks in there. We're gonna put the equivalent of about two tablespoons of salt. And we're gonna put the equivalent of about two tablespoons of black pepper. And we're gonna do the same with lemon pepper. Cayenne pepper, we're gonna go about one tablespoon. Use our garlic salt and we'll do about two tablespoons of garlic salt. All right, close the bag up. All right, so now we got them good and coated and shaking them like that, it's gonna get it inside those cuts. Now we're gonna let those sit for, we'll probably let them sit that way for about an hour. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so there we have our eight drumsticks seasoned. We're gonna let them sit for an hour. And they're all ready to go on the big green egg. All right, we got the big green egg at 200 degrees. We're working on 275, but I wanna go ahead and get these drumsticks on there because I wanna get some of that smoke in there. I want that nice smoke flavor. And we did use a little piece of hickory down in the bottom with the lump charcoal to help get that smoke for us. All right, so we're putting all eight of them on here. Let's see how they turn out. Let's sauce these drumsticks. We're going to use the, Roth, the Robert Rothschild roasted pineapple and habanero sauce. So let's put some of this on there and then we're going to we'll brush it around. That's a really nice glaze. It's gonna give it some really nice color and it tastes great. All right, so we're gonna turn them. And we're gonna do the exact 
exact same thing to the other side. Again, we're just going to brush this around, get a good coat on there, and we're going to leave them like that for about 20-25 more minutes, and then they will be ready to eat. Okay, we're actually at an hour and 45 minutes, and the wings are ready. So let's take the wings off the grill. Now that pineapple habanero sauce is really good. I've used it before. It's just like everything else that you can get from Costco though, it can be hard to find. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. All right, there they are plated. So let's get to my favorite part. Let's have a taste. Mmm, 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 man, good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's have another taste. Mmm. Y'all need to try this recipe. I'll put what I did in the description below. I gotta have one more taste. That's my drone sticks. Easy to do. Sliced meat. Put your seasonings in the bag on top of the drumsticks. Shake it up real good, let it sit for an hour. Everything works into those where you made the cuts. And then pick your favorite sauce. But that habanero pineapple is really, really good. So until next time we see you guys at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.